Good day guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Noble Creative Digital Marketing Agency. I hope you are doing great. And in this video, I'm teaching you how to design a logo on this lab and how to make it up on photopy.com. So, in this case, I'm going to change this background to, um, to gradient so that I can, can give me what I want. Good. So the next is bring out the image I want to use for um for design. So I downloaded the image. So let me look for it. Good. So this is the image I want to use for the design. But I don't use everything here. So the next thing I have to do right now is to find my eraser. Or you can actually use your mask tool or your eraser. So let me use the mask tool and remove this. Sorry. Good. So can you see it? We have removed the um the, the this that it's showing. So so the next thing now can enlarge the little bit and place it at the middle. Good. So the next thing you have to do right now is to bring out your image um your test, the name of the shop you want to use. So I'm using PT. Bt then change it to to capital it to then you go to your font then you give it something both font you can actually give it um Montestera bold or pop any one that you want to choose or any other bold font that you know we have to give it both fonts good you can actually give it this um Montserrat regular it's a both font so let's go good then you place it here so the next thing i want to do right now is to copy it again then you write your beauty salon shop salon shop good so you uh bring it down a little bit then you place it here also So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to write the dealers. The dealers. So you write a new text. Dealers. 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 Dealer. And on what I write? Let me check. Dealer and supply. Dealer and supply. And supply of air material of air material such as weak um revon Even names 
al etc then change the capsulator change the fonts or all those the beginning and make it to capitalize so you change all these to capitulator And etc. So next thing I'm going to do right now is to place it here. Then you go to your your alignment. Then you change it to center. This center here. You click on this one. At the center, so it will be central. So let's go. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to give it under fonts, under light front. I mean fonts. Then I'll give it semi uh Montessori semi bold or Montessori medium. So let's give semi semi bold. Good. Then you place it at the middle. Good. So this is how I want it to be because I want to give it a lot in the back side. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is bring out your okay. So the very best thing to do right now is to bring out your um your contact icon. So I'm going to use WhatsApp for WhatsApp for it. So this is my WhatsApp contact icon. So I'm going to place it here. Make it a little bit smaller. The position is very well. Good. So next thing I'm going to do now is a solution. You duplicate it, then you write a number. To make it a little bit smaller, then place it here. But I'll increase it so that it will be um okay. The same stick here. Good. So they are aligned together. So I want it to align together. Good. So they align together. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to make everything together except the WhatsApp icon. So you merge everything together except the WhatsApp icon. Good. Then you give them color. Any color of your choice. Can you see it? So I'm going to give it gradient. And this is the gradient color. I'm giving it. So the next thing now to do right now. Is to save it as transparent. Good. Then you save it as image PNG. Then you click it up very high. So the next place we are going now is our uh our photopea.com. So the next thing we are going to do right now is to click on your file at the left hand side. Then you click on your coupon. Then you go for the PSD file you want to use. No, 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 the PSD file is not even here. Click again, open. So this is the PSD file I want to use. So I'll click on the PSD file and be waiting for it to load. Sometimes. Sometimes it takes time for PSD files to load, 
on photopy.com so you are the one that will be patient for it to load so let us be waiting Good, so it has loaded. So the next thing is to click on a layer, not the up layer you're seeing here, but this one. So this is the layer here. So you click on this layer, then you go to your place your logo here. You double click it, the eye. Then you only only click this eye. Don't click the three eye. Don't click all the three eye. So you only click the first one. So this first one, good. So you click your file again. Then you click on your open and place. Then you select the file you just edited on Pixel Lab right now. So you click on it. So you drag it a little bit to be um to cut it too big, then you place it at the middle. So it's at the middle right now. So the next thing, so click on your file. Then you click on your save save smart object. So once you click the save smart object, you have to wait for it to be updated. Good. So smart object updated. So the next thing to do is to click on the first mock up that you that you brought, that you brought out this. So you click this to bring out what you just did right now. So you have to wait for it to be So this is what we did right now. Can you see it's very fine? So this is what we designed right now. So I wish you best of luck. You can actually try the process and you did your own. The material is at the description. So you check the material at the description and everything here. I wish you best of luck. Thank you.